Hey, hey, hey! So I have a beauty review for you, a makeup review. Um, this is The Balm Cosmetics Mad Lash Black Mascara. Um, I believe I received this from Ipsy. I'm, I want to say that this was new, but I'm not sure because I received this a while ago from Ipsy and never tried it out. So I've been trying this out because I love trying out mascaras and I found it when I was going through stuff and I was like, Heck yes, let's try this. Um, so this is what, this is obviously a sample size, but this is what the brush looks like. So if it will... It's got those, the tiny little spiky things on them, and it's got a slight curvature to it. Um, I have it on my lashes right now. It's not bad. I, um, it's definitely pigmented. It really colors my lashes. Like, I don't have any complaints about that. I do think that sometimes it clumps up. It's very hard to get in the corners, and I have found that it looks better. This mascara looks better if I just put it on the top versus the top and the bottom lash line. Um... And, you know, of course, some looks you want to do both the top and bottom lashes. Some looks you just want to do top. I don't know. Sometimes it's a, it's a mood thing. You know, if you know, you know. I don't know. But as you can see, my lashes don't look too bad. Feel like I'm back in my unique days. Hmm. Okay, here's a try and get you a shot looking down. Top of my lashes. Did that work? Um, so I don't know what the retail price is for the full size. I don't know what the retail price is for a tiny little sample size. Um, I'm going to rate this. I'm going to rate it three out of five. It's a good mascara. It's not a bad mascara. There's better out there. There's much better out there. Um, but it does its job. It's not bad. Um, I will say that I hate brushes like this. Because they're so small and you like they have the little spiky things in there. If you try to get really in next to your lash line, you get it in your eye or you you get it too too harshly, it can hurt a little bit. And um, I don't like brushes like that. I don't like mascara brushes like that. So um, I don't know if I would repurchase this. It does its job. I mean, like I said, there is better better ones out there, but it just it's it's not a bad mascara at the end of the day. So let me know if you've received this from anything. I'm pretty sure I received this from Ipsy because most sample size products I receive from Ipsy. BoxyCharm is good about full size products. Um, so let me know if you've ever tried this mascara and what you thought about it. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, um, please let me know why you didn't like it. So, I don't know. I mean, it's not a bad mascara. Like, I feel bad. But I love rating mascara. So, 3 out of 5, I feel like it's kind of middle of the road, you know? I don't know how much it is. Probably overpriced. But, um, anyway. Let me know everything in the comments down below. Like the video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And ring that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Because you never know what kind of content is going to pop up over here on this channel. I love you so, so much. I thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!